radio for all. You are now live with the Humble Prince on Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. Guess who's Bazak? Live with the Humble Prince on Sahara FM Radio. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Again, I just want to say that tonight's show was brought to you by Vivlin Entertainment Presents Basket Mouth in New York City, June 27th. Please go to their website, www.vivlin.com, for more information. Or visit our, our page on Facebook for more information. There's going to be a live show. Get your tickets. I, I think the early bed tickets don't sold out already, and understandably so, because like I said, this is Africa's number one comedian. Basket Mouth, and I'm actually going to be hosting that event that night. Yeah, I'm going to be doing like a little opening and everything. So, uh, also, if you'd like to advertise on Live with the Humble Prince on uh, Sahara FM Radio, please send an email to humbleprincelive at gmail.com or WW, I mean, sorry, publishers, publisher at saharareporters.com. Trust me, advertising on Facebook means your um, event is going to flop. You need more outlets. Advertise with us, man. Everybody has advertised with us. It's been successful and happy, you know, so check that out. So, of course, I've been joined by event planner extraordinaire, FTK Connect. That's what's up. She's a perfectionist, man. Trust me, man. Trust me. You want this lady to plan your event. I swear to God, she's whew, off the chain. But right now, um, I have uh, joined us via Skype. This guy is just a good guy, man, and he's like the epitome of what we Nigerians should do. We should all try to work together instead of competing with each other because when we work together, we succeed and nobody um, exemplifies it like this guy. Please, let's give a round of applause for entertainer, entertainer, comedian, actor, everything. Mr. Shea Brown, all the way from California. Hey, that's West Side. Yeah. <laughs> Put your west side up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hi, Shay. Yeah, Shay, we have a special. Yeah. Shay, we have a connector general of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's FTK Connect, connecting everything. Yeah. <laughs> Shay, thank you so much for joining us, man. It's a pleasure. Thank my you so pleasure. much. My pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, fantastic. Pleasure. Anytime, bro. You know, you know, I would do. That's you know what's up, I... man. So, real quick, um, you know what? Uh, let's. I, I know everybody knows you already and everything, but please tell the people a little bit about yourself, man, and what you do. Uh, well, everybody doesn't know me. If I'm not yet in White House, they, they, that means everybody doesn't know me. So I feel like that's <laughs> White House. Yeah, that, that's when I accept that everybody knows me. Nice. Well, uh, most people don't know this about me that uh, I'm a pastor's kid. Uh, my dad they was born in a house where my dad was a pastor. My mom, you know, was a pastress. That's, that's what I call her. You know, <laughs> you know, so I grew up, you know, like, with, you know, those strict Christian upbringing, you know, where you're not even allowed to joke. Wow. But the funny thing is, my, my dad, for me, is the most hilarious man I've met. Very, very funny. My, but my mom was the strict one. So I grew up with uh, uh, four brothers and uh, two sisters. But I have uh, half brothers and sisters. I have three elder sisters. You know. So uh, what else? Well, I grew up in Lagos. Nice. Uh, Hello. Lagos, Nigeria. Surulay, to be precise. Surulay. <laughs> <Lagos. laughs> you know. So, yeah, then I went to, uh, I presented to the University of Ibarra, Nigeria's Oxford, Nigeria's Harvard, Nigeria's <laughs> Family. Look at you. Where I uh, got uh, a Bachelor of Arts in uh, Philosophy and Post Science. I, I actually was in the same faculty with Tosinga. She said so, that. She said so. She did tell yeah. us behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In fact, my roommate was trying to toast her dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her husband hear, I beg. <laughs> Nice. So we met in Bangalore because I started, you know, like hosting gigs and trying to do stand up in my college days, you know. Right. From there, that's where I started from. Yeah, that's just a little bit about me, you know. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a father of two beautiful girls. You know, she has two boys. I have two girls. So she better come with those uh, dollars, dollars, you know. <laughs> Thank you, man. Okay, uh, they, they say they don't take, they don't take uh, dairy in America. Me, I take cook. <laughs> <laughs> you take plus they have to put cars in the garage. Hey, what? hello. Uh, mm, I take, I take. <laughs> After you calculate how much you pay for babysitter, mm, I take. Let me let me get my money back. <laughs> you take everything, man. Like I was saying, um, Shay, thank you for uh, you know being a uh, instrumental in my little hosting and MC career. I mean, it was completely unsolicited. You know, you just reached out to me, giving me tips and advice, and um, you know, even up until like yesterday when we spoke, and um, you know, I, I'll continue to appreciate you um for doing that. So uh, what like so for other people that are, are coming up, uh, they want to do this, you know, hosting and c comedy and everything. What advice do you have for them? 
Well, you know, like everything you want to do, you have to uh, research, do feasibility study. And you know what? The most important thing is you must have the uh, natural talent. Okay. You know, there are some things you don't learn. You know, you must have a natural talent to, you know, be, be hilarious, be funny, you know. Or you just find out that whenever every, everybody says anything, you see the hilarious, you know, part of it. You know, it's like the optimist and the pessimist. The pessimist is the bad side, the optimist is the happy side. It's like that. Whenever anything happens, and everybody's like, even when people die, they're like, oh my God, the person died. I'm like, wow, the person died. Okay, I sympathize with them, but what can I come for this song? And what can I get that will be funny out of it? Because I've, host, I've actually hosted a, a wakekeeping service before. Wow. So you can imagine trying to make people laugh at the wakekeeping service. Now, that was the biggest challenge I had. I said, well, if you can make people laugh here, then you can make anybody laugh. Wow. Nice. That's nice. So, so you know. I know FTK that's has a little one or two questions. One or two questions. Right. Even though she is my personal person, he's, yeah. mm -hmm. we're in-laws, family, cousins, yeah, everything. Yeah, she's my, my in-law, Kodedli. <laughs> Koded, Koded. <laughs> we can't talk about it. Yeah. So, um, Shay, what I wanted to ask you was, like you said, you did political science in school um, with yeah. something else. How? When did you find out that you had this in you? Because you're a natural. You have what it takes, and you were like, you know what, I'm going for my passion. I know that you used to be in soap operas in Nigeria and all yeah. that good stuff, but how? He used to model, too. He used to model. Did you see his modeling body when he, okay, my, hus my husband's watching this. I can't talk. But um, yeah, <laughs> she you used to be hot. <laughs> okay, mm. maybe you're still kind of hot. <laughs> maybe, but okay. I, I will try to get it back. Okay. I'm gonna get my fuckness back. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, let's go back to the question. When did you realize, or how did you find out that you were talented? You had this in you. You were going for it no matter what, because this is what you do full time. So yeah. When did you realize that you had this talent? Um. Like I said, you know, I grew up under a very hilarious father who, True. who you know, he sees the funny side in everything. Nothing is beyond, you know, uh, my father making jest of, you know. So, but I, and I realized that uh, a lot of people come around him, and even when you're sad, when you come around my dad, you end up, you know, you go back laughing or happy. So I'm like, aha, I want to be like this man, but, you know, you just don't want to be like somebody, so you have to know until I started clowning in class, you know, mm -hmm. after a teacher leaves, you mimic the teacher, you know, you clown in class, you become the class clown. But I, w I grew up very shy. Mm -hmm. Really? Very, really? Yeah, yeah. I am a very, very, I, I like, up until I was like 13. Wow. I couldn't stand in front of the class. Wow. But what changed my life was the day I saw a movie. Trading Places by Eddie Murphy. Hmm. Mm. Eddie Murphy was a very big, big influence. I'm like, how can this guy do this? So after that, I started seeing all Eddie Murphy movies. Then I saw, uh, was it Boomerang? Coming to America and all other Eddie Murphy movies. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, all right, this guy can do this. Mm -hmm. I can I can, for a long time, Eddie Murphy was like my mentor. He was like that, you know, he was the one that I was you looking up, up to. Right. And I started clowning in class. You know, you crack some jokes, some with hate, some with miss. Mm -hmm. But you know, you just don't stop. You keep doing it, keep doing it until people start calling you a clown, a demorphy, this, that. Then when I got into college, I was still doing it. And you know, we just just in my room, and people were calling me, ah, this guy, you're hilarious. Yeah. So that's how he actually started, you know. Mm -hmm. started, and, you know I, I, I just knew I liked it. I liked to make people laugh. I liked yes. to be the funny one. So I, can, I can actually attest to that. I remember the very first time I called you. We didn't even know each other like that. Maybe, I don't even think you had met me. And I was just asking you questions about, and, you know, it was a wedding. Actually, before it started off, I think our second call was a wedding. The very first one was a three-day event in Miami. And we were talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it actually did not work out. But that was how Shea and I really yeah. formally got introduced. And I could not get any word in. I'm like, wait, wait. I know you. Wait. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you the questions. Are you available? You know, he even made fun about everything. Right. He was talking about how he was in Cal he had to do a gig in get Cali and he wished this and that you know it was so good like it's a natural you just have yeah. it you're naturally talented yeah and thank I'm, you, I'm thank very you. very happy to and, know you and I just want to say man definitely a very good dude honestly and I, I'm inside I'm, out yes. the, what you Genuine, see is what you get honestly yeah um, I appreciate you appreciate you that mm. I haven't seen his videos well, you know, 
Yeah. It's not my thing. My thing goes not because I want to be good. My mother beats the goodness into me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, no choice. <laughs> yeah, but no, but I, what I wanted, what I, what I wanted to say was I had been seeing videos of him, you know, and everything, and I, you know, then you actually um with an MC at my homeboy's wedding. Big shout out to Dolakwa and Muji in LA. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, this yeah, was, yeah. I think, in 2012, mm -hmm. something like yeah. that, yeah. So, you come for that wedding? Yeah, I was there. Really? In yeah. L.A.? Yeah, I came. Dolapka and I went to school oh, together, boy. man. Yeah, so oh, that's how oh. big, that's how small I was, because I actually introduced myself. I went up to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm really trying to talk to you. The first, the first, the first time I actually uh, got on your page was through FTK. So I was like, this is my friend, this dude, hell, so yeah. I was going to speak. And when I got him, I'm like, this dude is not serious. I'm but yeah um and yo to all you fine babes that voted for Shay and the who's finer man i'm not talking to you guys and i'm not even calling you girls uh who's i'm not calling you girls fine babes any, anymore one of my friends from south africa was the one that said nearly modeco almost modern <laughs> Oh my God, I have Those to go things see that just, post. Oh yeah, know. that post was hilarious, man. I haven't man. seen it, but all I saw was handsome and more handsome. Yeah. <laughs> What's your own? <laughs> Wait, let me see. Oh that. God. Okay, yeah. Handsome from the right and more oh. handsome from the left. Yeah, no serious, man. <laughs> yeah, Shay. So, uh, please, uh, tell us some of the things you're working on. Uh, what can we expect from you? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm actually planning on my one-man show. Nice. Uh, I'm, I'm still thinking of a name to give it. I'm, I'm thinking of coming from Africa or Nigerian American. <laughs> right. You don't see that now. Nobody better take cities. it. Nobody steal it from you. I have two cities in mind: LA and New York. Right. Nice. And um, aside from that, I'm also working on a tour. I'm going to be on tour with uh, Jedi. Uh, it's called LWKM. The last one came with I. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, Calgary, Canada. Toronto, Canada, and uh, D.C. Those are the three cities I'll be uh, involved in. Nice. And uh, aside from that, you know, private gigs and, you know, but I'm really working on my one-man show, which is, like, big on my, you know, like, list of to-do things right now, you know. Awesome. It's about time, you know. Yeah. You know, I was, I, I was watching show. one of the comedy skits you did. Um, I think you did it for, like, uh, 10 or... It was about 10 minutes, and when I okay. host, yeah, uh, when I host events, man, I try to make sure I don't go, I, I do it in spurts, so I'll do like two minutes, and then I go, because I don't think I could talk for that long and keep the audience, but you do a fantastic job, man, <laughs> 10 minutes, so so when you do this one-man show, you, how, you're going to have to be talking for about an hour, right? One hour live, yeah. Wow. That's, yeah, that's, that's a lot of material. But I did live. notice that you omitted Maryland. Is there a problem with that, DMV? Uh... The reason why I'm doing the two cities is because, uh, you know, unless I guess, I mean, hey, if I, if you can get me sponsors, you know. Hey, yeah. I he always does I love that. this guy, man. He's real. Yeah. 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 You know, and, you know, and besides. Yeah, so those are the two major cities for now. But if we get sponsors, why not? We got yeah. 52 cities. We'll do 52 cities. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, and besides, you know, Maryland is not hard, man. New York and LA, that's where the, oh, that's no, where you're the not ballers talking. are. Really? <laughs> How many times have we brought you to Maryland hey, to, hey, hey. to do events? No, no, no. Okay. When, it comes to, when it comes to weddings, and church events. Ah, Maryland is it too. Hallelujah to Jesus. <laughs> Let me tell you, May do, do not abuse Maryland. Maryland people are the one paying for my daughter's school fees. Amen. Nice. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Shay, uh, real quick. Um, so, one of the things I've been doing on Live with the Humble Prince is trying to create awareness uh, for domestic violence and violence against women in Nigeria. So, uh, you know, uh, I just want to know if you could share any ideas or tips on how we can accomplish that it's really hard it's really really hard you know uh in the sense that not hard that you know hey it can't be stopped but you see i think both parties should uh take uh responsibility, responsibility. i agree right. you know, yes um, some men have short fuse mm. hmm. and some women have very fast mouth <laughs> and I have two daughters and what i'm going to tell them is that you have to bridle your mouth mm. you know because you don't know the temperament of the person you're talking to. Mm. I don't support, you know, domestic violence. I don't even support men hitting women because, you know, the Bible says they are the weaker sex. You know, you're supposed to protect them and all that. But some people just go all off. Like, you, you will cringe. I'm like, wow. Okay, let me give you an example. When I just got here, about, I think within like six months, we were traveling, <laughs> we were, we were at the airport, 
and we were a bit late for our flight, so we were in the elevator. So I was like, yeah, yeah, let's get in the elevator and go, but you know, there was a lady that was standing by the door, and it's those kind of elevators that, you know, you know normally in an elevator, if you don't leave the door, the door won't close and the elevator won't move. <laughs> so we were trying to get her attention to please come, and she was on the phone. So we were I was trying to get her attention, please, please, can you step into that, you know, the door will close, I will go. And because she was on the phone, she wasn't responding until, finally, it was one of those uh, talking elevators, she was like, <laughs> out the door and let's go, you know, something like that. <laughs> and I said, hey, hey, that's what I was trying to tell you. She just got me said, shut up, fool. Wow. <laughs> but she said I was as if somebody slapped me. Wow. And fresh from Africa, you come, you say shut up, and you don't ask food as toppings on the ice cream. Yeah. I went over now, I said, who? Me? <laughs> <laughs> but I know, I know some friends of mine that would have slapped her. Well, and they would probably be in jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So, exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, I think, you know, everybody should, you know, like, the man should keep his glove in his pocket. Right. And the lady should, you know, breathe her mouth. That's what I would say. Because, you know, you, you should try to avoid stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, I mean, you could be the coolest guy, but, you know, the lady who is running her mouth could abuse you on... The wrong day, the wrong guess of all days, the days you are having your bad day. Yeah, I agree, man. Some women, yeah. women, w women know how to push those buttons. Let's be, let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But so, Shay, um, I know we're rounding up. So one thing I like to do, um, I like to ask for my guests, please give us an exclusive, man. Tell us something nobody knows about you. Something nobody knows about. Me. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh. Could be many good. Things. Could be bad. Anything. There are many things people don't know about him. <laughs> Let me see. Um, I am actually very, very like okay. I think I told you earlier. I'm very, very shy. Really? Wow. Most people don't believe it. Yeah. Very, very shy. But yeah. you get to know if I'm caught red-handed, like unaware. If you, if you, if you catch me when my guys are down, like yeah, you would know. Then the second one is I'm very soft inside. I look mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, she. <laughs> but 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 I'm I'm very really soft. Today. Guy, <laughs> please, uh, Shay, thank you so much, man. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us and everything. Please, but before you anytime, go, anytime, yeah, anytime. if there's anybody you'd like to acknowledge or give a shout out, please do so real quick. Uh, number one, I'd like to give a shout out to God, you know, for you know, yeah, he's the one who gives us all the wisdom. Everybody, you yeah. know, everybody who has supported me from the time I, you know, I'm here, wedding planners, you know, people like FTK, you know, nice. people like you. You know, you give us uh, the platform. Everybody I've worked, you know, with, and you know, they have treated me well. And even those who have not treated me well, I want you to know that there's a lot of people like you that I work harder and harder. You know, so that yes. you know. Right so yeah, shout out to everybody. Thank you, man. You know, that means something. Yeah, let's give a round of applause, Mr. Shady Brown. Shady, please, uh, whenever you're in New York, Sahara Radio. You guys are doing a great job, and Sahara TV for posting that. Uh, you know, performers of mine at uh, the uh, African yes. Diaspora Award, he went back. Yeah. For the first seven days, it was like a thousand hits every day. I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> seven days, I'm like, yeah. Nice. I'm proud right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, thank you so much, man. And please, whenever you're in New York, we'd like to have you in the studio, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you yeah, so yeah. much. When, when I come to NYC, I'm going to let you know, man. I'm going to let you know. Let me bring my American accent. Shay, you, you know. said that last week. I was supposed to see you in Maryland last week, right? But that's all right. Yeah. That's okay. They canceled on me. They canceled on me. Oh, okay. Oh. We'll be talking about that on BBM later. Okay. All right. We'll talk yeah. about that. Yeah. We'll talk about right. Let's give a round of applause to Mr. Shay Brown, man. Shay, thank you so much for everything, man. Yeah, wish you continued success. Thank you very much. I take yeah. care. <laughs> right. God bless America and God bless you. Thank nice. you. <laughs> so we're going to take a break real quick. And when we come back, I think Joy's out there. Joy is the director of the Miss Nigeria USA beauty pageant taking place this uh, Saturday, May 23rd at the Alvin Ailey Theater. She's going to be joining us. And uh, we're going to continue um, to chop it up with my guest co-host, FTK Connect, event planner extraordinaire. Live with the Humble Prince. We'll be right back.